Hi everyone, oh, welcome back sa aking channel. So ang sasagutan natin ngayon ay isang integral problem na galing ito sa FB group na calculus. Hindi ko pala naisama yung pangalan ng FB group, calculus na FB group to. Calculus lang yung title niya. So ang sabi nung nagpa sabi ni Dora, ayan, si Dora pala to. Sabi niya, "Help, huhu." <laughs> ayan, so sagutan natin ito, integral of 1 minus cosine 4x over 1 plus cosine x dx. Okay, so sagutan na natin. Okay, so gagamitan lang natin ng identity ito para para ma-solve natin. So ito yung identity na gagamitin natin for cosine 2x double angle formula. So cosine 2x that is equal to tatlo kasi yung identity na pwede nating gamitin. Cosine squared x minus sine squared x, 2 cosine squared x minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Pero ang pinakamaganda ditong gamitin natin ay itong merong sign. Ito ang gagamitin natin. 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Bakit ito yung gagamitin natin? Kasi meron ditong 1 sa harap. 1 minus. Eh pag sinubtract natin ito, makakancel na yung 1 at itong 1 dito. Kaya ito ang pinakamagandang gamitin na identity. So yung cosine 4x, pwede natin yung isulat na cosine 2 and then 2x. Okay, so that it's in the form cosine, cosine 2x. Okay, so apply this identity. So therefore, we have integral of 1 minus, so the identity for cosine 4x, that is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared. Since the angle is 4x, so just divide 4x to 2. So we have 2 sine squared 2x. Okay, and then over 1 plus cosine 1 plus cosine x, dx. Okay, so next step. So medyo mahaba to, so dito ko ilalagay. Maximize ko ang space. So itong 1 minus 1, makakancel na itong 1 minus 1, 0 na yon. Tapos dis distribute natin yung negative, negative, negative sign dito, then may negative pa dito, so magiging positive to na siya. So mag may constant na to, ilabas na natin yung constant na to. So nasa labas na siya ng integral symbol. So just copy the denominator. 1 plus cosine, cosine x, and then we have dx sa gitna. And then gagamit ulit tayo ng identity dito. Sine squared 2x. So ano bang identity ng sine squared? So hindi ko pala nailagay yung identity, identity dito. So ang identity ng sine 2x, we have sine 2x, ang identity niya is 2 sine x, and then cosine x. Okay, so gamit lang tayo ng identity dito for sine 2x. And then naka-square pa siya. Yung Negative to dito, nakamultiply sa negative 1. So, naging positive to na, nilabas ko na. Then, we have sine squared 2x. So, i-square lang natin. So, therefore, we have this identity. So, we have 2 and then sine x, cosine, cosine x, and then naka-square pa siya. Okay, so i-distribute lang natin itong square. Uh, distribute the exponent to each factor. Okay? So, two, so we have 2, 2 square. So we have 2 squared, that is 4, and then meron pa tayong 2 dito. So pag samasamahin na natin, equal na siya sa 2 squared is 4 times 2. We have 8, ilabas na natin sa integral. Okay, then we have sine squared, sine squared x, distribute the exponent, times cosine squared x over 1 plus cosine, cosine x. Okay, ang next na gagawin natin dito, Karaniwan, kapag meron sa denominator na 1 plus cosine x, minumultiply lang natin yan sa 1 minus cosine. 1 minus cosine x and then 1 minus cosine x. So bakit kailangan i-multiply dito? Kasi kapag 1 plus cosine x, minultiply sa 1 minus cosine x, ang uh, different, ano, ano to, uh, sum and product of the sum and difference, 1 plus cosine x and 1 minus cosine x. So when we multiply that, that will be equal to 1 minus cosine squared x when we multiply this. And that is equal to, we have identity for 1 minus cosine squared x, that is equal to sine squared x, which is equal to the, which is equal to this, sine squared x. And then, identity for this, 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x, that is also equal to sine squared x. So in short, we can just cancel this because the product of this is sine squared x. So we can cancel this. Okay, so what is left is, ang natira na lang ay 
integral of, we, we forgot the dx. So, ang natira na lang ay cosine squared x, cosine squared x, and then multiplied to 1 minus cosine x. Okay, so let's just distribute. Cosine squared x and then 1 minus cosine x dx. So let's just distribute. So we have 8 integral of cosine squared x. Cosine squared x dx minus, so distribute the 8 and the dx. So we have minus 8 integral of cosine squared times cosine x that is equal to cosine cube x dx. And then we will use identity. For even, if the exponent is even, so we will use the identity from, from this, 2 cosine squared x minus 1 is equal to cosine 2x. So we can derive the identity for that. So the value of cosine squared x, so from this identity, so just solve for cosine squared x. So we have tra transpose negative 1 to the other side. So we have 1 plus cosine 2x over this uh, constant over 2. So this is the identity that we're going to use for the first one. And then for the second, we will use the identity 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to sine squared x. Okay, so we break this into cosine squared times uh, times cosine x. Okay, so use identity for the first one. So we have cosine squared x. So we have 1 plus cosine 2x over 2 and then dx minus 8. So we we can break this into 8 integral of cosine squared x times cosine cosine x dx and then use identity for cosine squared x. So the identity for cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared x. So therefore we have 8 integral of identity for this is 1 minus sine squared x multiplied to cosine x dx. So now, uh, let's just, uh, so, lahat ng integral ay meron ng direct formula. So just uh, distribute 8, 8 divided by 2, so that is 4. And then we have 1 times dx, so we have 4 dx plus another 4 integral of cosine 2x dx. So we have direct formula for this. Minus or distribute cosine x dx and 8. So we have 8 integral of cosine x dx and then the last term negative 8 times negative sine squared. So we have positive 8 integral of sine squared x cosine x dx. Okay, so may, may direct formula na lahat. 4 integral of dx, so we have 4x. Plus we have... Uh, we have direct formula for integral of cosine. So integral, the integral of cosine u du is equal to equal to sine u sine u plus c. Since the derivative of sine is cosine, that our u here is two x. So so we have neutralizing factor of the recipro reciprocal of two, which is one half. So therefore, we have plus four times the neutralizing factor of 1 half, and then direct formula for cosine u is sine u. So we have sine 2x. And then for this one, so again, we have direct formula, cosine, cosine u, integral of cosine u is sine u. So we have minus 8 sine u or sine x. And then for this one, we will just use uh, u to the n du. Our u here is, this is our u sine x. The square is the n, so it's in the form, it's in the form u to the n du. So the u is sine x, and then du, the differential of sine x is cosine x dx. So it's in the form u to the n du, so the formula for that is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Okay, so therefore, ano na yung magiging sagot natin? Plus 8, we have sine, just add 1 to the exponent, so we have sine cube x over 3 plus c. So let's just simplify. So we have final answer 4x, 4 times 1 half. So that is equal to 2 sine 2x minus 8 sine x plus 8 sine cube x over 3 plus c. So this is the final answer. 
Okay. That's all. So, I hope na nagustuhan niyo explanation ko para sa problem na ito. Kung meron kayong uh, math question, ay i-post niyo lang po sa mga group ng differential at integral calculus. So, member ako doon. So, or i-comment niyo lang sa i-comment niyo lang sa aking dito sa channel na to. Pwede rin sa aking uh, FB group or i-message niyo ako sa aking uh, FB mismo na RJ Ensenyado. So, kita-kita tayo sa mga susunod na video. Bye-bye and God bless.